Welcome to Math Magnet. Math made easy. This is for all you little geniuses who need a little help with math. Remember to use this video only as a guide to help you solve your math problems after you have attempted to solve them yourselves. Let's get into today's video. Today we are going to do chapter 14 triangles from workbook for grade 5. We shall try to solve problems under practice 3. Before we start solving the questions, let's, let's revise on the concepts that we will be using to solve the problems under practice 3. Over here, let's look at equilateral triangle. We have already learned equilateral triangle has all the sides that measure equal length and all the angles are equal and all the three angles will be equal to 60 degrees each. That is the properties of an equilateral triangle. In case of isosceles triangle, we know two sides will be measuring the same and the angle opposite the equal sides will be equal. So the angle opposite this side and angle opposite this side will be equal. That These are the properties of isosceles triangle. In case of right angle triangle, the right there is one at least one right angle in the triangle at least one angle that will be equal to 90 degrees and also we can say the sum of the other two angles will also be equal to 90 degrees that is if you add this angle plus this angle it will be equal to 90 degrees let's start solving practice 3 right angle isosceles and equilateral triangles first question Find the unknown marked angles in each of the right angle triangles. The first A question, find angle A, B, C. They have asked us to find the unknown angle A, B, C in this triangle. And they have given us one angle as 57 degrees and the other angle as 90 degrees. So we know the sum of all the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. And in a, in a right angle triangle, we know sum of the other two angles is equal to 90 degrees. So, angle A plus angle B should be equal to 90 degrees since angle C is 90 degrees. So, angle ABC plus angle CAB equal to 90 degrees. Angle ABC equal to 90 minus 57 which is equal to 33 degrees. So, the unknown angle ABC is equal to 33 degrees. The next question, find angle ABC and angle ADC. The triangle given is this. They want us to find angle ABC and angle ADC. And there we know angle BAC is equal to 20 degrees and angle BAD is equal to 90 degrees and angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. These are the figures that we can understand from the figure given. So let us put it down. In triangle ABC, we know triangle BAC is 20 degrees and angle ACB is also 90 degrees. Because ACD is 90 degrees, obviously ACB will also be 90 degrees since BD is a straight line. We know sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So in triangle ABC alone, the sum will be 90 degrees. Now we know one of the angles is right angle. So the sum of the other two angles should be equal to 90 degrees. So angle ABC plus angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees and angle ABC equal to 90 minus 28 is 62. So now we have found one of the unknown angle which is ABC. Now we have to find the other unknown angle ADC. For that let us consider the triangle ADC. We know angle ACD is 90 degrees, angle CAD is 90 degrees minus 28 degrees. 20 degrees is given, the entire angle A is 90 degrees. So angle CAD will be 90 minus 28 is 62. So angle CAD plus angle AD is equal to 90 degrees as you have earlier seen. In a right angle triangle, the sum of the other two angles will be equal to 90 degrees. So angle ADC equal to 90 minus 62 which is equal to 28 degrees. So the second unknown angle ADC is also equal to 28 degrees. The next question, 
next question c find angle g e f and angle d e g this is the diagram given here in triangle g e f they have given the angle e g f as 90 degrees and e f g as equal to 26 degrees so we know sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so from that we can find angle g e f which is angle g e f plus angle e f g equal to 90 degrees and angle g e f is equal to 90 minus 26 which is equal to 64 degrees now we have to find the next unknown angle which is angle d e g we know angle d e f is equal to 90 degrees angle d e f is angle d e g plus g e f now we know one value here and we know the total value so we can find this unknown value here which is angle d e g equal to 90 minus 64 equal to 26 degrees let's look at the second question find the unknown marked angle in each of the isosceles triangles find angle e f d in this given triangle d e f to find that this given triangle is shown as an isosceles triangle which means two sides are equals. When two sides are equal, we know the angles opposite to the equal sides will be equal. So in this case, angle E will be equal to angle D. So angle FED will be equal to angle EDF which is equal to 53 degrees. Now we just have to find the third unknown angle. And we to find that we know the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle FED plus angle FDE plus angle EFD equal to 180 degrees. So angle EFD equal to 180 minus 53 minus 53 is equal to 74 degrees. So the unknown angle EFD equal to 74 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Find angle ABC. Here in they have given a triangle ABC. And they have asked us to find angle ABC. From this given figure, we know they have marked angle A. And they have marked two sides as equal, which means this is an isosceles triangle. Now, in an isosceles triangle, we know the angles opposite to the two equal sides are equal. Using this concept, let us try to solve this problem. So, we know in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So, angle ABC is equal to BCA. So, we know angle BAC is 36. It is already given in the figure. We also know the sum of all angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, we can write angle ABC plus BCA plus BAC equal to 180 degrees. And we also saw angle ABC equal to BCA. So, which means we can replace it as 2 times ABC is equal to 180 minus 36 degrees. This is equal to 144. Now they have asked us to find only ABC. We have found 2 times ABC. So for angle ABC we can find by simply dividing 144 by 2 which is equal to 72 degrees. So the unknown angle ABC is equal to 72 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Find angle ZWY. They have given a triangle X, W, Z and they have marked this angle as 86 degrees and they have uh, marked this triangle as an isosceles triangle. This side is equal to this side. Now we are going to see a new concept where we will see this angle. This angle is called the apex angle. The angle adjacent to the two equal sides is called apex angle and when we draw the altitude or the height from the apex angle to the base of the triangle it divides this apex angle equally into two halves this is a property of an isosceles triangle using this property let's solve this question so we know in an isosceles triangle the altitude or the height from the apex will bisect its apex angle into two equal angles. So we can find angle ZWY 
and by dividing angle x w z by 2 so 86 by 2 equal to 43 degrees so the unknown angle z w y is equal to 43 degrees let's look at the next questions find the unknown marked angle in each of the equilateral triangles find angle p r q this is the triangle that they are given and they have mentioned this is an equilateral triangle. We already know in an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal to 60 degrees. So angle PQR equal to angle QPR equal to PRQ which is equal to 60 degrees. So the unknown angle PRQ is equal to 60 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Find angle XYZ. They are given a triangle XYZ. And they given one angle at 60 degree. Now the point here that we need to remember is the question was to find the unknown angle of the equilateral triangle. So the question already mentioned this as an equilateral triangle. And we know in an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal to 60 degrees. So angle XYZ equal to YZX equal to ZXY is equal to 60 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Find WXZ. In this given triangle, we know it's an equilateral triangle. So, all angles in an equilateral triangle are equal to 60 degrees. In addition to that, like an earlier problem that we had discussed few minutes back, in an uh, equilateral triangle, the altitude from the vertex that will bisect the opposite side into two equal halves, that is when it is bisecting at a right angle, it divides the vertex angle into two equal halves. So this half will be equal to this half. And we know we in an isosceles uh, in an equilateral triangle, this entire angle is equal to 60 degrees. So WXZ can be calculated by dividing WXY divided by 2, which is equal to 30 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Identify and shade the right angled triangles. Let's look at all the triangles now one by one. This is the first triangle that they have given. They have given an angle of 81 degrees and 19 degrees. So let us calculate the third angle. It will be 180 minus 19 minus 81. You will find it as only 80 degrees. So there is no right angle or there is no angle that is equal to 90 degrees in this triangle. The next triangle they have given us 65 degrees and 25 degrees. Let's calculate the third angle. That is 180 degree minus 65 minus 25 equal to 90 degrees. So there is a right angle or there is a 90 degree angle in this triangle. So this is a right angle triangle. So we shall shade it. The third triangle, they are given us 59 degrees, 78 degrees. We will find the unknown angle that is 180 minus 59 minus 78 equal to 43 degrees. So definitely this is not a right angle triangle. The next one, they have already marked one of the angles as a right angle triangle in the figure. So definitely we need not even proceed to calculate. We can rightly say that this is a right angle triangle and shade it. The last triangle is also marked as 90 degrees already in the figure. So definitely this is a right angle triangle. We shall shade this triangle also. The next one, identify and shade the isosceles triangles. The first triangle that they are given, they are given two angles as 86 degrees and 46 degrees. So if we calculate the third angle, we will know that it is 180 minus 46 minus 86 is equal to 48. So none of the angles are equal here. I mean in the sense in isosceles you should have at least two angles that are equal. The opposite angles to the equal sides are supposed to be equal. Here all the angles are different so definitely this is not an isosceles triangle. The third one, second one, we have... 75 degrees 74 degrees so what's the third angle 180 minus 75 minus 74 equal to 31 degrees again all the three angles are different so this is also not an isosceles triangle because in an isosceles triangles two angles that are opposite to the equal sides will be equal in this case all the three angles are different so this is not an isosceles triangle the third one they have given 64 52 what will be the third angle? 180 minus 64 minus 52 is equal to 64. So here we will see that there are two 64 degrees. So definitely this is an isosceles triangle because two angles are equal. This is an isosceles triangle. Let's shade it. The next one, they've already marked 
two angles as 80 degrees and 80 degrees. So no calculation need to be done to find out the third angle. We can rightly say this is a isosceles triangle and we shall shade it. The next one, the, this is a right angled triangle where one angle is 90 degrees, the other angle is 45 degrees. You can easily guess the third angle also to be 45 degrees. Even if you calculate, it will be 180 minus 90 minus 45 is 45. Again, two angles are equal. So, this is also an isosceles triangle. So, we shall shade it. The third type, identify and shade the equilateral triangles. Let's look at the triangles one by one. The first triangle has already been marked with two angles as 60 degrees each. And now we know in an equilateral triangle, all angles are 60 degrees. If two angles are 60 degrees, then third angle will also be 60 degrees only because the sum inside the triangle will be 180 degrees. So, this is an uh, equilateral triangle. We can shade it. Let's go to the next one. The next triangle, we have a 60 degrees, we have a 40 degrees. If you, uh, this is definitely not an equilateral triangle because in equilateral triangle, all the angles will be 60 degrees. In the third triangle, they have marked, already marked that the three sides are equal and all the angles are equal. So, which means this is an equilateral triangle. So, we can shade it. The next one, it is evident this is a right angled triangle with one angle 60 degrees and the other angle 90 degrees. This is definitely not an equilateral triangle because in equilateral triangle, all angles are supposed to be 60 degrees. The, th the la final one, we have a triangle with one angle marked at 60 degrees and they have marked this triangle to look like an isosceles triangle. That is, they mark two sides to be equal. So, obviously, if one side is 60 degrees, one angle is 60 degrees, the other angle will also be 60 degrees. Now, since two angles are 60 degrees, the third angle will also be 60 degrees, right? So, if all the three angles are 60 degrees, this is an equilateral triangle. This we can shade it. Thank you friends. Hope you found this video helpful. If yes, please do like, share with your friends and subscribe for more such useful videos. Feel free to comment your doubts down below and I shall get back to you at the earliest. See you soon with another math video. Bye.